Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, today we're going to be working on the closed big turkey bolster. He is huge. So we're keeping an eye on him. Oh, sorry, guys, but yeah, we got our chickens running around. We're going to be working on our enclosed um, lean to. And today we're going to be working on the rafters. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get two end ones up, and I got in order to do that, I'm going to mark the angle while I'm up there to get the right cut for the, the slope. Get those two hung up, and then go through a mark where each rafter is going to go. Because originally I marked it what? Every three feet, didn't Every I? Every three feet. Yeah, well, the design has changed a bit. So I'll have to go up through and remark them, which is no big deal. So, yeah, um, that's probably you get every rafter in. Almost to get every rafter, rafter up and in and, and attached. If I can get, we can get that done today, hopefully within a week or so, we can go get our metal for the roofing. So, all right, let's do it. Yeah, you're going to rest it right on top of that 2 by 4 Yeah, and you said a foot? Well, you're not going to do a foot, baby. I'm, I'm going to do the foot as soon as I mark this. So is it sitting there? Yeah. Okay, you mark yours? Alright guys, so guess what? I boo-booed. I tried to do a guesstimation. For a, what, a foot out? It's not a big deal, but yeah, she tried guessing a foot. But we Actually, just, you know correct. Just for the fun of it. That's correct. Let's so. see how close your foot guessing it would be. There's my mark. You're 15 inches. Okay, so I, I would. Three inches long. <laughs> Alright, so I got me a new, a new sole yesterday. Uh, I figure it's time to some will retire this one. I've had that for every bit about Is that 15 years? around 15 years. My father's been deceased now for about 11 or 12. I can't quite remember. But he got that for me. So it's every bit at least 11 years. But we are keeping a hold of that too. Yes, I'm keeping that. It still works. And the good thing about that one is though, is it can cut like four by fours and stuff. But it's a Harbor Freight. Chicago. Uh, Chicago Electric, yeah. So I went with this Evolution. It's my first sliding, sliding compound miter saw. This blade supposedly can cut through anything. Metal, wood, no sparks. I've seen different people have them. So let's see, let's see how it works. I like it. That laser helps out. It helped me out. Well yeah, it makes it, you don't know, have to eyeball it like I had to with that one. Right now we're sitting at a foot overhang, uh -huh. so we're good. All right, that should be our outside piece, and let's cut one more for the other house, the other side. I may be nice to go through and just cut all of them up and cut them in, in a perfect world. But and being professional carpenters, they probably could do that because yeah. everything would be perfectly square. But ours is not perfectly square, yeah. so. Plus, our ground isn't perfectly level. No, that did not help at all. And all the roots in the ground, it made yeah. our posts slide off from the auger. And so, let's just do that. We're just going to do one at a time. I know it's going to take longer that way. But, but it'll get done right. Yes.
hook the middle. So just with the braces we want, remember? On down here? Yep. Okay. Both ends. Remember there's braces for those and there's braces for these, remember? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Which is the hard part about the middle is going to be um, make sure every one of those braces are perfectly three inches apart. And plus the right height off the ground all the way across. So we don't want our we don't want our wrappers to be like this. Right. Where it's so where it's teeter totter. Well yeah, we're they're wavy. Uh, yeah. That's all the thing. Pretty much like that. Uh, all right. I think we are short one um, set of rafter ties. Unfortunately, we then we miscalculated. I know it's worried about the sun in my eyes. Oh, I knew I was going to have I'm glad you weren't there. <laughs> Me too. I didn't want to get bumped on the head. <coughs> One more. What happened? Your knee? Yeah, I just kept in that hole in it. Put it against the metal? Yeah. So I gotta go get a mallet so I can tap it. Okay. To try the ink mode, I think. Yeah, I think that's so what I just, she said, tap it. <laughs> yeah, if this twist, it would've been enough to say, you know what? We gotta go back and get more uh, rapid ties in the way, so. Nope, it's setting flush here. Yeah. Hey guys, um, okay, so we've got all the rafters up. I spared you guys the board. I'm going to have to watch me put them all up. So, I'll give you guys a look. we got all the rafters up. So now, I've got to focus on Finally putting the concrete in the holes. And I'm sure everybody's like, why didn't you put concrete in the holes when you first started? Well, because the way all the tree roots were and everything, um, it was throwing all my posts off. So I knew if I concreted them in, I'd have been in big trouble. So I'm glad with the, the I'm glad with the um, results I've gotten from waiting. That's actually my next step now is to go ahead and concrete the posts in. It's going to upset these guys because they're, they're going to town dust baiting and all the loose dirt. So they're going to be upset about that. But that's okay because the one right there, if you can see her, I need that dug out a little bit more anyway. <laughs> so she's helping me out a little bit on that. Um, I am going to go back in between the rafters and put... Um, I guess supports in between that way the wrappers don't um, are nice and strong and sturdy together I know you're not happy about me taking your guys little dust bat baiting spot 
If you guys can't hear me because of the wind, I apologize. I'm trying to speak up without actually screaming. If you guys are hearing me real well, then it sounds like I probably am screaming, but I'm not. But I'm going to do that. I don't mix. I don't pre-mix concrete. I don't. I didn't pre-mix concrete on the fence post. I didn't pre-mix concrete on my deck. The fence has been up for one full season. It's doing great. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm basically just going to dump the concrete in the, in the whole part of it. Water, more concrete, water, until it fills up. And then take a stir stick and just kind of like stir it around real good. That sets it up nice and neat. Um, might be a lot of conflict with you guys thinking on that, on that one, but it works great for me. So, but yeah, all right, well, I'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, guys, well, it's all concreted up. It's pretty cut and dry. But I'm going to give you guys a good look at it from a uh, distance so you guys can actually see what it's looking like. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, we got all the wrappers up. Baby girl came to help out a little bit. Yeah, it's looking pretty good though. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a good size shed. So yeah, here's the doorway, which that's going to eventually got us to get cut out. That or build a ramp into it, depending on what kind of door I'm going to build. She just mentioned about putting like barn style sliding doors on it. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do yet. But it's five foot wide by about eight foot tall because it ends right up at that post there. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably going to lower the door side height a little bit. But yeah, you come in and 12 foot wide, 10 foot tall, drops to 8 foot. It's not a crazy pitch. Here, let me show you guys the pitch a little bit better. I'm sure you guys might have something to say about the pitch. Friends of mine, and that's kind of said something about not having much of a pitch on it, but I think it'll be all right. I mean, let's give you guys a good view of the. I mean, water run down there, snow, yes, it's going to sit on there. But I'm hoping if I put those um, support beams between these rafters, that that will strengthen it up a little bit more. We are planning on getting more animals. Not this year, but probably around the end of, end of winter, beginning of spring. We're going to probably try to start getting underway and we're wanting to build like an enclosure. I know I'm off topic of the building. If I, I, I'm sorry guys if you guys don't care to hear about this. Um, if, you, if you're into farm and farming and stuff, that's what a lot of this channel is. This just happens to be a project we're building to hopefully accommodate for the farming. But anyway, back to the, the ultimate enclosed lean-to build. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think? I'm happy with it. It's coming along quickly and it's <laughs> getting there. It's looking like a building. I love yeah, it. Uh, I can't too. wait to see the finished product. It looks so much bigger too like when, after it's all built. I mean, like <laughs> yeah, the roof on it. Huge. Like, not the roof, but the rafters. It's huge. What did you say? It feels huge? It's gonna be huge it feels like it's gonna be like a huge space like a grower not a shower <laughs> all right guys well we're gonna get out of here for the evening but as for that all right guys i'm signing out you guys have a great evening and peace you guys are great peace